Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 22 and today we are checking out the brand new update for MotoGP 22 and that is the Moto2 update. It includes all the new liveries as you can see on screen right now, Celestino Vietti's Mooney VR46 livery and of course a few more in there as well as the Italtrans of uh, J uh, not Jake Dixon, I see Jake Dixon's on the left hand side, I almost got took out there actually as a matter of fact, but Jake Dixon to the left and of course Jake, uh, Joe Roberts further ahead and of course even some of the uh, Mark VDS liveries, the Flexbox HP40, Aaron Connect's all up to date there's a few other updates as well, of course um, Romano Fanati still in the game which I do appreciate will be a bit of a job because I guess he would need to get licensing for Alonso Lopez and a few more things so I guess that's fine as it is but uh, it is the new MV speed up conveyors bike so it's not uh, not completely inaccurate so I guess Romano Fanati was still here at the start of the season but for now I'm just doing this one live for you because I also want to give a live reaction to see how the bikes feel and the vibration seems a little bit stronger than I remember now they don't tend to update everything when these games get updated but you usually find one or two things have changed without us being informed so getting a feel for the bike right now and just understanding the brakes again with these Moto2 machines as uh, Tony Arbolino got absolutely whacked out the way there unintentionally just got a bit too close to him but feels good feels good so far so pleased to have Moto2 liveries updated because it's getting really stale and now the game is actually fully up to date I can start moving on to the Moto2 category as Jake Dixon gives me a really big shove there and pushes me wide but uh, yeah so far so good with Moto2 I'm going to check out all the face scans and of course the uh, leathers up close and personal because I want to see if a few bugs have been fixed as well so as we get across the line here to start or at least to end lap 1 of the Catalonian Grand Prix we're going to dive back into the pits and have a look at the other riders so starting here in Moto2, Augusto Fernandez and Pedro Acosta all up to date the KTM looking great although the team performance is at 100% might be a little bit too high. Mark VDS Racing with Tony Arbolino, Sam Lowe's all up to date. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, Celestino Vietti on board the VR46 Mooney uh, Calyx. And of course, Somkiat Chantra, Ayagora, Itabitsu Honda team all sorted out now, looking great. Marcel Schrotter, Dynavolt Intact team, 90% team performance. I think it's a little bit high, but Jake Dixon, 95% all up to date, looking good. So far, so good. Aaron Kinnett, all up to date. Jorge Navarro, the Grassini team, and of course the VR46 Master Camp team as well, all looking up to date. Uh, Barry Baltas onto Van der Gerberg. Really like this livery actually. It's growing on me. I wasn't a big fan of it at first, but looks good. Zont's doing well this season. Of course, the MV Augusta. Really, really love this bike. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Certainly a team I'm considering joining in Moto2 next season when I move up. And as mentioned earlier, yes, Romano Fanati is still in the game, but I guess if you Pretend he's not there, you could just pretend it's Alonso Lopez, I guess. And then, of course, Fermin Aldeguer, the really young sensation. Absolutely brilliant rider, but looks great. Looks really good. Really pleased to see the bikes up to date. And, of course, Dave Kahan here from Depeche Mode. Excuse me, uh, Lorenzo Dalla Porta. If you actually look them side by side, they look rather similar. But, yes, really pleased that the bike's up to date now. It feels like MotoGP 22 is almost complete, so very pleased with that. And also, there's been another addition. We now have the Prima Prama Ducati team. So, Johan Zarco on the podium in the Saxon ring now with the purple livery. I did read that some people absolutely detest this livery, but I kind of like it. Jorge Martin looks pretty good, although he's got a real baby face in this picture here. <laughs> but yeah, Prima Prama Ducati up to date. And also, Alicia Spargo has had his gear up to date as well, but I don't really notice the difference. Maybe I've just missed something, but it looked like it was up to date, but now it's definitely up to date in the latest update but I do notice which I guess is very very early yet but the Aprilia is not fully complete because of course Maverick Vinales has these sort of extra parts at the bottom towards where the A is on the Aprilia but I guess that is a bit wishful thinking considering that this update has just come out and Saxon Ring has just passed but so far so good the patch notes say that Enea Bassinini has been improved with his face scan the same as Luca Marini but I do believe that's a copy and paste job from the previous update so yeah Luca Marina looks great and Air Bastion still looks terrible so I don't think that's really changed but yeah so far really really good it's it's great and that's okay but there are a few more things I want to check so in Moto3 when you're choosing to pick your rider on a specific bike you'll notice that the Vision Track Honda last time gave you the Husqvarna liveries no more we have got the correct livery 
We can now look like Scott Ogden and Josh Watley with the Vision Track Leathers. And the same to be said with the, yes, the MTA team. This one gave you the Pramac Ducati livery from 2009. That was certainly something to laugh at in the last update, but yes, that's sorted. And there's one more to check. In the 2009 season mode, if you went for the Team San Carlo Honda Grassini, it does give you the correct bike. Last time, if you chose this bike, it would give you the Repsol Honda. So, really pleased with that. And actually, speaking of Repsol Honda, the number has allegedly been fixed, but I do believe that was from the previous update as well. I don't know why they duplicated things twice, but yeah, in the patch notes, you will see that it apparently has been updated yet again, or at least it's been the same update from last time. So last thing to check then is to see how good this bike looks in the flesh. So we're here in the Saxon ring with Johan Zarco and the Prima Pramat Ducati livery. And apparently the rider's start has been improved. Now I've got to say, that was pretty nice. I'm, I had power setting three. Yes, I didn't get the best jump off the line. But the AI is still kept up somewhat. So hopefully... Oh, God, look at me. That's a big crash. But hopefully the bikes are all right now and everything looks good. The AI continues to actually improve. We could have a very good, solid MotoGP experience here with MotoGP 22. So, so far, I'm going to give this one a massive thumbs up. Great job from Milestone updating the bikes, updating the Prima Pramac Ducati livery. Did not think that was going to be a thing, but I guess if Prima is a new sponsor, I guess Milestone need the pennies. So, yeah, makes sense to get that done. But, yeah, pretty happy with this one. We'll complete one lap of the Saxon Ring, and I guess from there... We'll discuss in the comment section if you found any more bugs. So far for me, zero bugs. Not found any issues. The bugs that we did find last time have been fixed. The bikes still feel good. There's been no stupid changes with anything. But the AI, still probably not as difficult as I would have wanted it to be. Still relatively easy to pass, but we'll, we'll find out in the future. But for now, guys, I'm pretty happy with this one. Let me know what your feelings are in the comment section down below. And I guess upon that note, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.